Okay, so I got this and a uh, new toy. Uh, it is a snorkel mask. For some parts. Um, this is not the first one of these I've actually had. These are kind of cool. Um, I no longer have a functional pool because we had one of those pools with the inflatable ring on top and it won't hold water. Or it won't hold air in the ring, so it won't hold water. But anywho, hopefully we will get that fixed because it's 100 degrees outside and it's miserable. So, this little snorkel mask, um, this part stays above the water to allow you to breathe. And this part covers your face. They come in different sizes for different ages. And this one is definitely too small for my face because I got it for one of the kids. But basically, it goes on. See, it won't fit my face. But it goes on like so. And it fits against your face. Um, and you measure your face to get the size. It's pretty simple to do. They're kind of cool. They are adjustable. But like I said, this one is oh, the size for my kids. And I'm blind right now. So... Um, and this little piece goes, if I am correct about this, into here. Yes, that's correct. Right there. And you just snap it on. I didn't get it on all the way. Oh my god, it doesn't want to go on. Ah, there we go. And there's a little UVC thing there to pull it off. Um, it creates a seal. And then there's a little ball in here so that if you do go underwater, this ball floats and water doesn't get in there so you don't inhale water. It's nice, I like this style mask because it allows you to actually breathe completely. Like you don't have to breathe breathe weirdly through your mouth because you know, your whole face is covered. It's also helpful, you know, for keeping your eyes open underwater and actually being able to see. Like I said, this is not the first one I've got. I've actually got one of these that does fit me and I think they're pretty cool. Uh, they're not really necessary for a swimming pool, of course. This one, I did not realize this, came with little earplugs. This is the seal for around this thing to help it. This here is where you mount your GoPro. Whoops, I dropped the nut. And uh, you can put this in here to help with that and hit myself in the face. Anyway, these are pretty cool. They're pretty easy to put together and pretty easy to disassemble as well. You just kind of pull up on this and well, maybe I spoke too soon. It doesn't want to come apart now. But you do just kind of pull up on this little tabby piece and eventually it slides out of there. There my god. There. Helps if you actually pull straight away. But yeah, so it's easy to disassemble and it doesn't take up a lot of space so it's pretty easy to store. Um, I don't know how hard it'll be to keep Zach in one of these because he's not a big fan of things on his face, but I am definitely going to give it a go. Comes with a little instruction manual and thing to get free anti-fog spray. So all in all, these are really cool and really great. And one of these days, we'll probably go down to the river with these and snap the little GoPro on and swim around and see what we can see. And also just swim around and see what we can see because, you know, why not? Maybe we'll even go down to the coast again and take these and get some interesting sightings and videos and things. Maybe we'll run into a shark. Ooh, scary. But anyway, nice little storage bag. Um, yeah, I really love these. These are so much better than a traditional snorkel. Like the mouth bite things. I don't like those. I don't like to breathe through my mouth if I don't have to, so. Yeah, all in all, it's a nice little system and they're really easy to wear, easy to use, and they're actually quite comfortable. The first time I put one on, it freaked me out a little and I felt really claustrophobic, like I couldn't breathe, but it did take a bit of getting used to, but now that I'm used to it, it's pretty cool.